Hi, I'm Jason Kreidner of Texas Instruments and one of the board members at the Open Source Hardware Association as well as a board member at the BeagleBoard.org Foundation. Wanted to give you a little update on things going on with BeagleBoard. Uh, so, so why this update in a little YouTube video? Well, I'd expected to be able to hang out and just chat with folks face to face, but that's not going to happen um, this year. So. Instead, I'm going to record this and hopefully encourage more of you to do the same, to make a, a quick recording of the latest going on with your projects and share it back with uh, the rest of us. So please do that. Join the Discord channel and um, join the channels on, on Discord, the, the Community Announcements channel as well as the Show and Tell channel. Paste a link to your video or maybe a blog post or something else to kind of just let us know what's going on. Um, really want to try to fill that gap and let you brag about what's going on with um, with your projects. Um, for us, you know, the thing I'd want to brag about um, is making the world's greatest cheeseburger. So uh, if you want to find out how the world's greatest cheeseburger is made with 14 beagle bones, then um, check out uh, beagleboard.org slash creator. Uh, another uh, thing going on with the beagleboard community, a little more timely, um, is we've been chatting with the folks over at Kai. Uh, so, so Kai, back in 2014, introduced a fully open hardware uh, a QPCR, quantitative PCR uh, machine using BeagleBone to increase access to biotechnology. It uh, looks for different, you, you take DNA strands and you um, replicate them and, it, and it, it automates the process of making it a lot more comfortable or easy um, for DIYers um, to do PCR and test for different DNA sequences like um, a virus. Um, so the, the, the news here is that they are getting pretty close to releasing a test kit uh, for the OpenQPCR uh, to test for, for COVID-19. So that would allow um, these tools to be used for environmental testing. So things like um, swabbing doorknobs or um, you know, uh, seats or um, different places in the office or you know, in the library. Um, so I think this is super important for us to um, you know, get out into the communities through uh, hacker spaces, schools, and, and libraries, and to make these widely available community resources for folks. Um, and so that to that end, um, the BeagleBoard.org Foundation has you know, reached out to Kai and see how we can help. And um, they said that they're going to allow us to, to donate some boards to, to try to get some more of these um, units out there. Um, so if you want to find out a little bit more about what's going on with uh, KaiBio and coronavirus testing, visit uh, KaiBio.com uh, slash uh, coronavirus. Um, and one of the cool things is they just submitted their, uh, the kit to uh, the certification uh, for, for uh, open source hardware. Um, and uh, you know, with BeagleBoard, uh, we've got uh, four boards currently certified. Um, the Pocket Beagle, BeagleBone Black Wireless, BeagleBone Blue, um, as well as the uh, BeagleBone AI. Um, kind of news on the BeagleBone AI is that we've just kicked off um, with some KiCad developers uh, the migration of the design from Allegro to uh, KiCad so that uh, people can use open source tools to edit that design and um, you know, collaborate and help move that design um, forward. Um, of course, you can get your hands on boards really today. Um, other um, cool things we're doing with, with, with partners in open hardware. Um, one of our, our favorite partners is uh, Seed Studio, and we've been working with them on an upcoming BeagleBoard.org Pocket Beagle Grove Kit. So this is a great way to learn to use uh, sensors and actuators. It's probably the easiest way to get started. Um, with with Beagle um, that we're putting together, and um, so I'm really excited about the possibilities that Kit, you know, making essentially everything you need to put together some some musical instruments, um, works with with working in Python. Uh, it's just a really nice solution for getting started with with Beagle. Um, but we're kicking off a number of other uh, projects with Seeds with Seed Studio. Uh, one of them being 
a uh, cape for the machine kit community. So we've reached out to the machine kit community to try to gather up requirements that they need uh, for a good open hardware solution uh, to building uh, 3D printers and, and CNC machines. Um, so check uh, you know check that out and uh, get involved um, with the, the those open hardware efforts. And of course, um, just kind of wrap up with a call to action right now. One of the easiest ways to get involved uh, with BeagleBoard is through the Google Summer of Code effort. So students are about a little less than a week out from beginning to submit uh, project proposals uh, to uh, to us for um, you know for us to, to to examine for for Google Summer of Code. So if you go to BeagleBoard.org/gsoc, you can uh, get involved and help us uh, uh, mentor the students. Um, you know, get, help them finish their their project proposal ideas so that they can have some some winning um, some 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 cool stuff for the community. So um, thanks very much for your time and let us know what you're up to.